I feel like we need to talk about the elephant in the room. Just one year ago, Disney invested almost $400 million into a Star Wars themed hotel, which at first glance was the laughing stock of the internet. They had to be so out of touch with the fans of the Star Wars IP to create something this bad, and in fact, turns out that they were. Disney just released an apology and canceled all scheduled stays in the hotel after September this year and announced they will be closing down the hotel for good. They tried to say that this was just a project for them, treating it like a temporary endeavor. An experiment, you might say. But you and me both know that when they built this thing, they had absolutely no intentions of closing it down anytime soon. They were hoping and praying that the Star Wars fans from around the globe would come flocking to stay in the first ever Star Wars themed hotel experience. But boy were they wrong. This is the worst! <laughs> Now, believe it or not, I actually started writing this video over a year ago. Actually, one month before the Galactic Star Cruiser opened. I don't know why I never finished it and made it into a video, but it's almost poetic that now that Disney announced they will be closing down their brand new multi-million dollar hotel experience they just built, that I am finally finishing my video. I think it's safe to say that ever since this project was announced, there's always been excitement around it along with some controversy. If you remember, they actually deleted the trailer that they dropped for the hotel before it opened because they received so much backlash saying how cheap the hotel looks and it being such an underwhelming disappointing reveal. Even the video that they ended up reposting later, still to this day, has well over 10 times the amount of dislikes to likes. The reviews from the influencers they invited out were all bad, no one was able to afford the $6,000 for two nights price point, and the ones that could afford it didn't want to go because it looked so bad. And the thing is, you're not even buying anything for life at this price, you're staying in a hotel for two nights. They marketed it as, come stay on a spaceship traveling through space with us, when in reality, you get to stay in a tiny little room that looks like the prison cells from Andor, literally with the jail bunk beds for your children, and there's no windows anywhere, void of life. All you get is a couple TV screens showing you outer space. Do you know what 6K could get you that would be better than this? I'll let you decide. A full set of Stormtrooper armor, your own personal astromech droid that works, a couple of those really nice lightsabers you see everywhere, some authentic movie props, Legos, Jedi robes, so much more. But instead, Disney wants you to spend your hard earned money to come to this Star Trek looking bland hotel that's supposed to resemble Star Wars. In reality, you're paying $5,000 for what they just recently revealed to be the biggest letdown of the Star Wars franchise's new ownership. And this doesn't make me happy to talk about. Instead, it makes me the opposite. I am so sad watching this thing with so much potential under the ownership of the largest corporation on Earth and it's just being wasted. There's so many better things you could be doing with the Star Wars name. Not even that it's a bad idea, but the execution was so terrible that no one wants to do it and the people that do want to do it aren't going to because it costs too much money and it's not worth it. You know what, let's take it upon ourselves to fix Disney's mistakes. First of all, don't forget to subscribe if you love Star Wars and care about what they're doing with it. I think someone needs to speak up or they're just going to keep running with it in the wrong direction. So don't forget to subscribe. But let's not just tell them everything that's wrong with what they're doing, but let's give them a better idea instead of what they have. I actually think Star Wars Theory did this in his video talking about it, but Let's go ahead and reverse engineer this. If you were to stay in a Star Wars hotel, what would you want to do? What do you want out of it? Well, what's the coolest thing in Star Wars? Lightsabers, I think that's a given. Up next, maybe blasters or being able to use the force, Jedi and Sith. Then maybe some battle droids and of course, all of the favorite characters. And I know Disney is trying to keep themselves so far away from all of Lucas's original characters and create their own stories and characters, but still, I want to see some lightsabers, some blasters, some Jedi and Sith, and some main characters. Also, it would be really cool to have droids running around the hotel everywhere just like in the movies. I don't think they had any. I love Star Wars Theory's idea for the hotel to have different sections to go through as a Jedi or a Sith experience, or maybe even a bounty hunter's experience. That would be way cooler. And I think the biggest thing, I think it would benefit them so much to ditch the canon guidelines and just be all inclusive of all the eras. We had this dilemma when the new Battlefront 2 movie was coming out. Everyone was so worried they were going to keep the heroes and villains canonical like Battlefront 1 so that you could only play with legends that existed together, but you know what? That's not as fun. So they went ahead and made all the characters playable together. They should do the same thing with their Star Wars experience, in the parks as well as in the hotel. 
I'd much rather go see Obi-Wan and Mace Windu and Qui-Gon and Anakin in the Jedi Temple and see Jango Fett and Boba Fett and Mando and some Clone Wars characters in the Bounty Hunter experience. I want to see everybody. Does anybody remember Star Wars weekends? I grew up in Florida and so as a kid, that was my favorite thing I look forward to each summer. For a couple weeks, or maybe it was two months I think, each weekend MGM Studios would feature tons of Star Wars actors placed all around the park that you could go meet and get their autograph. They would all do different panels for two months and you could find every single character from all eras walking around the park and it was the best thing ever. If you told me that they were only doing one era of characters or one era each month even, I would have thought that was the most stupid thing ever. I want to see them all. I think if Disney ditched having everything canon in the same era, it would go way better. But like I was saying, coming out of the gate starting at 6k for two nights is a lot of money, but for them to still have the 6k price tag a year later when they're struggling to fill rooms is absurd. I mean, what did Disney expect to happen? They invited so many influencers to come stay and promote it, but that's the majority of the tiny percentage that would pay that much to do that, and they'd be doing it for content. The older generation of Star Wars fans are not fans of the Disney sequel era. Disney has gone so far out of their way to completely stay away from George Lucas's original Star Wars IP that the new movies don't even feel like the old Star Wars. The older Star Wars fans that have the money aren't going to spend it because it's not their Star Wars. They didn't grow up with this Star Wars, their kids are growing up with it, and you know what? Babies don't have $6,000 to spend. But I think there's a lot more wrong with this hotel than just the surface level 3 k a night price, and that's what I want to talk about. I left a lot of my original thoughts and concerns that I wrote down a month before they ever opened in the video. I came back after the first influencer reviews came back and were subpar and wrote another page or two, and now that it's coming to an end this year, it just goes to show those concerns were completely valid. Disney has got a Star Wars problem that they need to fix now if they plan on improving their production of content for the future of Star Wars. They have so much money to pour into making new stuff from movies to shows to games to theme parks to experiences to merch. They just can't figure out how to spend it. Rogue One and Mandalorian Season 1 are the two best things that Disney has ever done with the IP since they bought it from Lucas in 2012, 11 years ago. For how many things they've done since then, to only have a couple things that are on par with what Lucas created is insane. I'm adding Clone Wars Season 7 and Bad Batch to the list because those are up there as well. But you might ask, why did Disney's Star Wars Galactic Star Cruiser fail? I don't think it was just about the price. Yeah, 6k for two nights is way too much, but I think there's much more to it than that. 6k is such a high price tag to pay, but you know what? If it was cool and worth it, I would save up the money and pay it in a heartbeat. And I know a lot of other fans would too, but you know what? People aren't doing that. I know a lot of hardcore Star Wars fans that have absolute no interest in staying at this hotel. And there's a reason. A large part of that is because it's an entire experience set in the Disneyverse of Star Wars, the sequel trilogy. My favorite is the original trilogy and the prequel trilogy because that's what I grew up with. If it was a two night experience set in either of those two eras and it was done right, I would be there so fast. They're going to have to wait another 10 years for the fans of their sequel trilogy to grow up, but even when they do, those movies and characters aren't even that good compared to the original and prequel trilogy. The first movie was literally a copy and paste of A New Hope, and then the next two movies literally rewrote the other two films as they went on. There was also an entirely fleshed out version of Episode 9 that Colin Trevorrow created that they completely scrapped when J.J. Abrams took over. There was no complete story that spanned across the three movies. They were each made and conceptualized completely separate by three different people, and you can really tell that. They feel disconnected and very wishy-washy. They go back and forth so frequently. Yeah, I mean, I have my guilty pleasure bad movies that I love to watch, but to be in love with these movies, there's a lot you have to ignore. So even in 10 years, when these fans grow up, there's still a good chance they won't even be the biggest fans of this era. I think Disney is simply not listening to what today's Star Wars fans really want. It seems like they're specifically ignoring them and for the most part just trying to push their sequels era down everyone's throats. I think the older Star Wars fans that are coming just to Galaxy's Edge even are coming to see the Millennium Falcon in real life, but not because it's Rey's Millennium Falcon, but because to them, it's Han Solo's Millennium Falcon. Just because she knocked the radar dish off and replaced it with a new one doesn't change what it is to everyone that grew up with it. They've known it for longer than she has. Same thing with the first ever lightsaber showed on screen. It's not Rey's lightsaber, it's Luke's. 
I think they need to realize that the majority don't want the sequel era, which is all they're pushing right now. Another problem that is definitely contributing is I don't understand what their obsession with making everything canon in universe is. They've created this planet, Batu, which is what the Star Wars land is. It's an Earth-like planet in Star Wars that you get to visit. Gee, doesn't that sound like fun? Out of all the cool planets in Star Wars, you get to go visit the most boring one, the one that looks just like Earth. No, seriously, if you go there, it's just a bunch of rocks. There are so many awesome planets in Star Wars, I think the majority of Star Wars fans would much rather prefer an experience that includes multiple different planets all in one park. I think it would be way cooler to have a large area of a Star Wars park where you can go visit Hoth and walk through some ice caves and then wander over to Endor to trek through the treetops and go on a speeder bike chase ride. And then for lunch, you could go have lunch and grab a drink at the Mos Eisley Cantina on Tatooine. And then when you're done, go on a pod racing ride in the Boonta Eve Classic with Anakin. You could even do a water park area that's all Naboo themed mixed with an aquarium that turns into Otagunga. You could have a shopping district that's Coruscant with fine dining restaurants up in high towers. I think people would much rather have a genuine Star Wars experience over feeling like they're in a canonical Star Wars universe that Disney created. Current day Star Wars is the sequels, and those weren't as good as the other films. But two, literally the most boring planet to exist in Star Wars. Disney made it solely for their park to feel like Earth so they can pass it off as Star Wars Planet Earth. Who wants to go to Star Wars Land and visit the Earth planet? Nobody? How weird. Rise of the Resistance is a great ride, and the Falcon is cool the first time you do it if you get to be the pilot that jumps into hyperspace, but if you're any of the other five riders and it's not your first time, you'd rather be on Star Tours, especially if you get to wait in line for an hour or less too. But I mean, even just going back to the hotel, I think Disney spent $375 million building this hotel. And recently, Universal just ended up paying $575 million, just 35% more, to build all of Nintendo World. There are so many better ways to spend that money than how Disney did. I think if they just listened to fans and quit ignoring them, they could create something that resonated with them rather than just sticking to the sequel era of Disneyverse films. They would be so much more successful. Their whole thing with this land is keeping it all in one place and trying to be immersive, but you know what? When they gave the rights to The Void to create a VR 4D experience, that was way more immersive and satisfying than anything Disney's ever done. It was a limited time thing, so I don't think you can do it anymore, but if anyone's done that, can you go to the comments and let me know if you enjoyed it just the same. I got to do it twice, once in California with my YouTube friends and once in Orlando with my family, and I loved it so much both times. They just need someone who's willing to take a step back and start from ground one. It's crazy that they're literally closing the hotel down. They're not just stopping the shows and making it cheaper and selling it as a hotel. They're canning it. They're getting rid of it. It's being closed. But what are they going to physically do with it? Is it going to just sit there abandoned forever? Are they going to demolish it and build something? something new for Galaxy's Edge that might be more profitable? How crazy is it that instead of altering it and lowering their operating costs with the shows part of it and just making it more affordable so more guests and Star Wars fans can experience it, they're just closing it. I feel like that's just an extra slap in the face to the fans. I am genuinely curious to see what physically happens to this building. Maybe it'll get repurposed into something else, a Tower of Terror or Toy Story Hotel, who knows? I just can't believe that in Disney's official apology letter announcing they're canceling everyone's stays past the closing date and that they're shutting shutting it down, they stated that this hotel was one of their most creative projects. Are you kidding? This failed hotel experience was the most creative thing Disney's ever done? It was so creative that they had to unexpectedly close it down because no one wants to go there and they're not making any money? Yeah, that checks out. I don't know if you can tell, but I've been having a lot of fun recently with our slow motion Star Wars battle series. I'm really enjoying it, and it makes me really happy to do these videos. We cover a lot of major Star Wars battles, as well as some of the bigger Clone Wars battles, and I have a lot more videos coming. But out of the entire list of battles I want to do, which is like 20 or 30 more, I cannot bring myself to do a video on any of the Disney Star Wars movies. And by that, I mean the sequels, 7, 8, and 9. Rogue One was amazing, I did a video on that, and it was great. But Force Awakens, Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker? I don't know what I would do the video on. I've already scrubbed through the entirety of all three movies looking for stuff in the background of big fights and haven't found anything. 
The only video that I did, which is actually blowing up since I did the slow motion series, is a video I did picking apart all the problems with the throne room scene from Last Jedi a few years ago. I'm worried that if I did a video on any of the sequels, it wouldn't be a fun video looking for hidden things in the background, it would just be us finding all the things they did wrong or messed up and all the corners they cut, and I'm worried it would be more negative than positive and that's why I haven't done it yet. I think another big reason this hotel and the majority of the Disney Star Wars content does not feel like Star Wars is because it's not what Star Wars used to look like. They're going for a new futuristic, elegant, clean look and that's just not what Star Wars is. The one reason that The Mandalorian felt so much like Star Wars is because everything is old and tattered and run down. Star Wars is a dystopia, not a utopia like Star Trek, and that's why a lot of the things from the hotel look more Star Trek than Star Wars. It looks like a Star Wars knockoff more than it does Star Wars. It's their IP, they have the rights to it, but it just feels like they're not using it. What do you guys think about this? Where would you like to see Disney put their resources? A new hotel? Adding more to Star Wars land? Ditching the sequels era? Tell me in the comments. Give me all of your ideas. I genuinely want to see what you think. Subscribe if you enjoyed the video and go watch this other one I just made. I will see you over there and remember, the force will be with you always.